Welcome to my first show, how to make bachelor enchiladas. First thing you do is you decide how many you want to make. And then you use Wolf Brand chili with no beans. Wolf Brand chili with no beans. Put it on very low, very low. You just want it warm. Basically, you just you just want it warm so it's not so thick. Step two, chop a white onion. See, white. Step three. What happened to step two? <laughs> step two was the onion. Oh, okay. <laughs> step one. Are you paying attention? Step one was the chili. Step two, onions. Chili and onions. S step three is corn tortillas. I prefer mission tortillas. You could use others. These are, as you can see, super soft. We still rolling? No. <laughs> Were you done? <laughs> More to follow. Step four is to dip your corn tortillas in the chili, soaking them like this. It will soften them even more, even though these are extra soft. You want your you want your uh, tortillas all soaked up with chili. Oh shoot, <laughs> stop the camera. Okay, after, after you've dipped your corn tortillas in chili, you wanna get your cheese ready. As you can see, we've got the onions ready right here. Somewhere down here <laughs> is a corn tortilla. There you go. Whoops. Oh man, I think I left that one in there too long. It is really super soft. <laughs> okay. Well, all right, dogs get this one. Cut. <laughs> Here's what you do if you mess up a corn tortilla. The dogs will appreciate it. Oh, my dogs are gonna have gas. <laughs> okay, what you really wanna do is you wanna roll these things and just, just enough to get them. It'll soften them up a little bit, but a fork right. or something or no this is good All right. then you move them over to the thing you're going to bake them in do you have the oven turned on not yet <laughs> all right i usually cook them about 350 degrees see the main thing about cooking is you got to have fun and it's got to taste good and i guarantee you these will taste good Okay, once you've got the first enchilada in there, you put a smidgen of onions in there. And then you take some grated cheddar cheese. You can, you can buy it pre-grated if you wish, or you can grate it yourself. And you put about that much in there. And you do that. And then, this is the hard part. You roll them up and try to get them to stay. <laughs> You're not gonna put any more meat in there, that's it? That's all that's on the inside. The rest goes on the outside. Oh, okay, got it. All right. <laughs> Why don't I hand you the next corn tortilla? <laughs> Thank you. My lovely assistant here will hand me another corn tortilla. <laughs> and as you can tell, it's gonna take a while because we bought 24 corn tortillas. <laughs> All right. There's number two down. Smidgen a little bit of onions. As you can tell, it's gonna be a mess for you. The assistant will handle the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> There's the cheese. And roll. And 
rolling in laughter. <laughs> Edge it up. Burn yourself, did you? Just a little. <laughs> this is a lot easier with an assistant. I've never had an assistant help me make my tortillas before. Your tortillas? Yeah, well, my enchiladas. <laughs> And as what you can see, we have a whole lot done already. Here's number six for this pan. <laughs> yeah, a few onions. Some grated cheese. You need another? One more? Well, yeah, I'm gonna, but uh, there's gonna be six in this pan. Okay, so on the next video, you will show how to finish this, this pan off. Okay. Okay, I've basically made a dozen. What we're going to do is we're going to take some of this chili here, and we're going to spoon it also over the top. In our family, we love onions, so we're going to sprinkle some onions over the top as well. And if they fall apart, it's okay. They still taste the same. You're a great cook, Dwight. Well, I cannot take credit. This is this is my mom's recipe. It's what you call cheater, white boy, and your lovers. Then you sprinkle some more onions on the top. Oh, you don't have to get me in the picture. Oh. They can hear me. Sprinkle some onions. Depends on how much you like onions. We, we like love onions. we love onions. So. Missing some over here. Yes, we are. We don't want to waste them since we chopped an onion. I said put them all on there. <laughs> I'll eat them. <laughs> and then final step before oven. Take some more of the grated cheese. And liberally spread the cheese on top. How do you put the cheese on top? Liberally spread the cheese on top. <laughs> I like cheddar, but you could have used uh, pepper jack. You could have used um, the Mexican cheese that they've got different cheeses mixed in. And we're going to bake them in the oven. 350 degrees. We'll keep keep an eye on them. It's probably going to take 15 20 minutes for them to warm up. We'll see you after you get out of the oven. And with enchiladas, you really need black beans. Although refried and charro pinto beans will work as well. What about the Spanish rice? Spanish rice. Ooh, we forgot that. Cut. Well, we realize that the Spanish rice takes 20 minutes to cook and there's five minutes left for the enchiladas to be done. So we are going to enjoy the enchiladas tonight with just some black beans and corn tortillas. Are you gonna check the doneness of the enchiladas now so that the world can see? Oh my, look how delicious that looks. Smells good. They're doing pretty well. We got another five minutes, as you can see on the timer, and they should be just about ready. Okay, from Bachelor, uh, no longer Bachelor Dwight, but he's making Bachelor enchiladas. Well, I just called it Bachelor enchiladas. It's really my mom's recipe. Oh, okay. So they didn't, and they used Wolf Brand chili, so they didn't have to cook any dang chili. You know, I don't blame them. Got it. It has been 15 minutes, and there are your cheater enchiladas. So you changed the name from bachelor enchiladas. Since I'm no longer a bachelor. <laughs> a cheater. Well, you're hopefully not a cheater. <laughs> oh, that was
was funny. Come on. Work with me, people. All right. This is for Chris. He's a lightweight, doesn't eat much. Chris, here you go. Well, I get fed today, woohoo. How many you want to start with? Two. I just said that because the camera's on. Okay. <laughs> Here's two big ones. I like that. <laughs> You're not supposed to scrape metal in a Tupperware pan or whatever it is. Tupperware pan. You might have to cut that out. That's enough for me. Wow, I'm going to get fed today. <laughs> and Chris is going to pour the all important vitamin D. Do you want iced tea or no? I'm going to have tea. <laughs> iced tea for both of us, please. Vitamin D and tea. And notice the cook always takes the ones that didn't come out perfectly for himself. But that's all right because they're all going to taste great. Right, Dwight? Oh, they should. I won't show you the plate. Nobody needs to know how many enchiladas you've <laughs> All right, and sign off. Hope you enjoy the recipe. How are those enchiladas, Dwight? Oh, they're great. Chris? <laughs> From Breeze. <laughs>